approaches. Forces occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. No more prophets. No more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will. We are his legacy. We are the banished. As of this recording, 75 minutes ago, Proof of Free uploaded a new video to their YouTube channel. The subject of this video was a banished transmission, and in today's video we'll be discussing the implications of this transmission. To play Devil's Advocate, this could just be a teaser for a story DLC for Halo Wars 2. However, the more and more I think about it, the less and less I think this could actually be the case. Most likely this is a teaser for Halo Infinite. Now, what this transmission is actually referring to is, I think, the victory that is in grasp within the hour for the Banished is the same defeat Brohammer is referencing in the Halo Infinite story trailer from 2019, which is quite concerning that the Banished have the means to destroy a Halo ring in that manner. But it raises interesting questions like, why were they trying to destroy the Halo ring in the first place? What was their goal? Was it asset denial to prevent Cortana from using it? Who knows? Was the UNSC's last stand so ferocious that the Banish were forced to use uh, a weapon capable of that level of destruction? Now the he they are referencing within it is quite obviously Atriox, which means most likely Atriox will not be in Halo Infinite. The canonical reason for the Banish being in Halo Infinite is, well, their forces aren't just this one ship. They do have a, a fleet, and it was just one ship they sent to the Ark, which just happened to be Atriox's, uh, well, the one that he was on. And they also talked about no more profits, lies, no more deceit. They could be saying no more deceit as a like a reference to Cortana's new covenant. Like she she has her own conglomerate of alien species that some. Um, I fear eyes may worship her as, as a god. You know, like all the ex-covenant that still maintain their religion after the Great Schism could all be worshipping her like a god as a forerunner incarnate, kind of... <laughs> oh god, that sounds really <laughs> bad now saying that out loud, oh god. So the rest of this video is now going to be how I think the Banish would work within a first-person shooter, not necessarily Halo Infinite, but it's still applicable. The Banished's armor is very similar to Jurahane Power Armor, which is the armor Brutes wore in Halo 3, which means uh, the Banished Brutes would be very similar to the Halo 3 Brutes, which I am perfectly fine with. However, I would prefer if when they went berserk, they posed a bit more of a threat than they do in Halo 3, because it's just, you know, one tap with a precision weapon just ends it. In terms of new infantry enemies for you to fight, there's obviously the new hunters that Colony has, which would be so just unbelievably awesome to fight against because obviously Halo hasn't had new hunters. They changed them a bit in Halo 2 and then a bit more in Halo 5. And that is it. That is how much hunters have changed over the years. So it would be awesome if there were new hunter units for the player to go up against. Yap Yap the Destroyer is a bit of a meme within Halo. He shows up every now and then. The Halo games just gonna, it's a bit of fun on Free for Free's behalf. And I think it's extremely likely that he appears in Halo Infinite, at least within the capacity as an Easter egg. If there are Grunt Goblin mechs in Halo Infinite, which I think there will be, since they won Halo 5 Warzone, then maybe they'll make a reference to Yap Yap. Or if he's in <laughs> the game in the larger capacity, I think at minimum there would be an easter egg of uh, 
the Brute Jockeys, which is a unit for him in Halo Wars 2, where there's a grunt riding a brute with like a gravity hammer, I think. So, <laughs> I mean, that, that I wouldn't put it past 343 to add that as a Easter egg. Now, vehicles, I think I speak for everyone when I say it would be just so incredibly cool if the Banished Scarab was in Halo Infinite. Now, I think the Scarab will be in Halo Infinite because it's it's kind of similar to Bungie when they messed up the Scarab in Halo 2, they kind of rectified it with making this cooler version of the Scarab that walked about and dynamically reacted to the player's actions. And I think Free for Free may try to do a similar thing, make up for the Kraken by adding a banished Scarab, or they could add a moving Kraken. Either way, I'd be happy, but I am leaning more on the side of the Scarab. Honestly, I'd say it's pretty probable that there'll either be a Kraken or a Scarab in Halo Infinite. I would not be surprised, but I still wouldn't say it is, like, guarantee, because I think it is absolutely probable that there isn't a Scarab, which would be very unfortunate. The Locust is a mini Scarab, that's how I would describe the Locust, and I could very easily see it filling kind of the same role as the Revenant from Halo Reach, although it could be pretty weird seeing it move as fast, I think. If it is in Halo Infinite or if it would be put into any post mission shoot, I think it would have a very similar damage output, maybe something similar to the Apparition from Halo Reach Evolved, I think that is a pretty good comparison to make with its, you know, laser and stuff. Like, not as good as the Wraith, but a bit better than the Gauss Hog, I think, is where you'd put it on, like, damage to vehicles and stuff. If a Locust was in Halo Infinite, the Scarab would also be in the game, because you can reuse a lot of the animation and all the coding behind not only the enemy AI, but also just how the animation plays out and stuff with the legs. If the Locust is to be in Halo Infinite, it would be dependent on if the Scarab was also in Halo Infinite. I don't think it would be in Halo Infinite and there wouldn't be a Scarab. But actually, it's pretty unlikely. Even if there is a Scarab in Halo Infinite, I don't think it is a guarantee that there'd be a Locust. The Ballista Pack is probably the most unlikely thing to appear in Halo Infinite. The reason for that is because they fire homing missiles, so just imagine how annoying Prometheans are in Legendary with their homing weapons. And then swap the bullets out for grenades. Yeah, that is what a ballista pack would be like. Not to mention the fact that they're vehicles, so... <laughs> that is, like, would be the most infuriating thing to play against. Definitely do not expect a ballista pack, even though it would be extremely cool to have one. It just, no, it's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Shame, though, they're pretty cool. The Wraith Invader is quite literally a Wraith but the Banished cut off the main cannon and then extended it a bit and that was the troop transport they used. It still has its machine gun, but it doesn't have the main cannon. I don't think it would appear in Halo Infinite because it's just such a niche vehicle. Like, I'm not ruling it out, but it is such a niche vehicle. But it would be cool to have them in the game because they could serve a very similar role to Phantoms, like spawning enemy AI in the battle. They'd probably have to be like exclusive to vehicle sections. And because of that reason, I don't think they would be in the game. So now I pass the torch on to you, the viewer. What do you think of the Banished being in Halo Infinite? Do you think 343 will add new enemies for us to fight? Or do you think they'll just stick with the classic enemies that we have been fighting in all the previous games? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please do all the regular YouTube related things.